I have a new skirt design. It's called Dora the Explorer. Try to say that really fast. <laughs> it's a cargo skirt. Multi-function, efficient cargo skirt, but cute. <laughs> I'll show you what it is coming up. Hey, Chanel here with another skirt video, bringing you tips, tools, and techniques to help you with your fashion evolutions. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. So I had this idea about 20 years ago to make a cargo skirt that um, I could just put all my like cell phone in and lipstick, credit cards, just no purse, just carry everything around in a skirt. I was going to Disneyland on a date one time and um, we actually never made it there because the traffic was so bad in LA. <laughs> it's gonna take us about three hours and I was only about an hour away and we turned around and left. <laughs> we didn't go back, we didn't go. And I haven't been to Disneyland since. Hmm. Um, anyway, where was I? So I had this idea, well, I wanted to wear a cargo skirt to Disneyland and not have to have, you know, a handbag or nothing and not carry stuff just have it all on me so actually about a month ago I finally made a pattern for one and this is it it's Dora the Explorer Explorer I have a trouble saying that and it's just a, a yoked skirt uh, a line with little pockets like this is lipstick pocket this is cell phone pocket with a little flap and then I have another pocket on the side and a zippered pocket in here, and then it zips on right here and has a little pleat. So it has all the little functions. Might need more pockets, but I'm gonna start with those. <laughs> so I was really like, I've had this pattern for a while, and I'm like, what kind of fabric? I just can't decide. And then I started to get it planned out. I was gonna do another color blocking, but I do so much color blocking. And then while I was searching for this one fabric, I was like, where is that fabric? I found this fabric and it's like a little Paris print I found it at Joann's and um, I have just a scrap left of it because I made some pants that didn't work out out of it <laughs> and, um, um, well I can finish them I'm not sure I like them uh, so anyway so I want to do black corduroy and the pockets out of these so uh, something a little different and I'm gonna probably put some piping or do some trimming in there I'm gonna work on it as I go so i'm gonna oh hey this might look good here you know that's kind of how things evolve and that's how you end up with a really cool design so i'm gonna get started on that um i actually got parts cut out right here here's my pattern i got them cut out and i got um, my little pocket pieces all cut out and i planned them on like this is a cell phone flap and i have the bike on that print right there in the middle of the of that I could have brought that down a little bit more so it's gonna go that way but it'll look good so I kind of you know planned out where I wanted to to put it so I'm going to I think I'm gonna make a couple pockets first because those are so fun to make and then you get jazzed up and make the rest of the skirt so I'll show you how to do it all right I'm gonna start with the fun stuff I'm gonna do a little bit of the pockets a little bit of the skirt get it all built up so I've got my pockets um, cut and prepped, and I'm gonna start. Each one is a little different. I got the, um, I got a. This pocket right here is, is. I just did a muslin with it plain, but I'm gonna put a pleat in the front, and make it um, go out. I have to show it to you. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna use some trims. I found some trims in um, my little uh, trim box, and I'm gonna include these so that they kind of stick out a little bit like a piping. In some that in the one pocket there and then I've got um, like this is the pocket flap here I'm gonna put uh, rhinestones on the bottom of that one I just found this one little piece of rhinestone trim and I'm gonna use it as a piping and then I have uh, basic just a tiny black piping I'm gonna put in the cell phone pocket I'm gonna put it around um, this is the tab on let's see this one right here there's gonna I think there's a tab right here and then there's a hook too, cell phone pocket, just so your cell phone don't pop, fall out. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that around there. So I'm gonna build a 
couple of the pockets and then build the skirt at the same time and do a little of each and um, start getting this built. All right, so I'm gonna start on one pocket. I'll show you how that's coming along. All right, been working on my pockets. <laughs> I've got this one done here. I did a little patch pocket. Um, put the little ribbon inside there. So that's my little patch, it's ready to go on. It's gonna go on this side of my skirt. And then I got the flap right here. Actually, it's gonna go this side because I want the, well, never mind. it does go that way. Ooh, I wonder if I put that on the wrong side. It, huh, because I think I like that print better, but it's all good. So this is gonna go like that. A little bit of a busy pocket, but fun. That's gonna go right here, a little flap on there. And then I got my cell phone pocket ready. I put some piping on the inside, stitched all that up, and made it into a patch pocket. And then this is my little lipstick pocket. That's just a folded over piece. And I attached it to here, because then that's gonna go on this side, right here. And then I'll just be stitching on that all the way around. And then I had my little cell phone tab. I don't know where it went. <laughs> but that's going to go right here. So I'm actually not sure I want to put that there because I don't know. depends on how easy the cell phone is to get out. Not sure. But I'll figure that out. So I'm going to uh, take a break. I'm going to start on my skirt parts tomorrow. i got to change my thread out on my machine. Put some black thread on there because I did all this with white. And onto the skirt. And the pockets are ready. All right, see you tomorrow. Well, I'm back to work on my skirt. First, I stole the zipper out of the muslin <laughs> and I put it in my skirt, right there. Does it work? Oh my, <laughs> there we go. So I actually inserted it in there. It's a pretty simple zipper application. It's just like a center zipper where you um, just sew the zipper inside um, an opening right there and this one I usually you baste the seam down put your zipper tape it's all covered up now in the middle and just sew around it and then take out the basting stitches and then you have it but with this I couldn't do that with that so um, I just set it in there and stitched it around it was pretty simple then I sewed the zipper bag onto this part here and then sewed it right onto the fabric right here so those chalk marks are where I sewed it right in there and that's this is where the other um, pockets gonna go so it's gonna cover that stitch right there so that is the zipper pocket now I think I'm gonna I'm not sure, I think I'm gonna start with the so the yoke to the other part of to the left side of my skirt here and then start in with this zipper and get the skirt built um, before I put those pockets on. So I have, um, I'm gonna start with the left side of the zipper. I have um, just this little, this one's it's kind of a bad zipper. It's a gray one and it's real tight. But I found this zipper in my stash. It's a separating zipper, but it's a big plastic one. And I thought that would be kind of cool in there. Um, at least I hope so. Huh, <laughs> be thinking this. Um, but you know whatever so it's a separating zipper but i'm just gonna um cut it off right here so the first thing i do is just uh the left side is always easy as you just fold it under and then um i'm gonna stitch that down and it's kind of a weird little zipper it's going into a pleat so i just have to figure this out and engineer it <laughs> so I, I remember i was when i was fussing with this it uh it's a little, it's kind of easy actually. So um, this is the other side. I have to, a one, in, one inch extension here goes into the pleat. So that'll just fold in. And then I think this whole thing folds here and then it just gets top stitched over. So it's actually generally a pretty simple zipper. So I'm gonna work on that and um, I'll show you how it's coming along. All right, got my left side of my zipper in. Now I'm setting it up to sew in the right side of the zipper. And um, it's kind of like a pleat and a zipper all in one. So I'm gonna be sewing um, from here, pivoting up and going 
all the way up to enclose the zipper right there and um, making a pleat at the same time. So it's going to look like that. I'm just going to sew here, have my pleat. Also, I have my fly in here, but I have it tucked over so I don't get it caught because then you can't get into it. All right, I'm going to go sew this. I hope it turns out great. Well, the zipper is in. Looks great. It was kind of hard to cut the plastic teeth out. I had to get my uh, paper shears out to cut the teeth because <laughs> uh, I think you have to have them open and you can kind of get into the crevices. But I had it closed up on the bottom. But ah. but anyway, I got it cut from the bottom here, so no more zipper extension. So this is the zipper. Oh, it looks pretty good. It goes right into the pleat. Easy to get on. Um, probably don't even have to go all the way down. Usually to put a skirt on you need like a seven inch opening to get into it. That's why most zippers like pant and skirt zippers are seven inches. So um, there it is. Got my pleat all nice. It's probably really hard to see black. But um, just went from there and then I love this. I think that is so cool. Just kind of pleats over and um, I'll probably get in there by do a little hand stitch and do that. There is the zipper. Now I can put the rest of the skirt together. I'm gonna um, start on the back, have the back yoke um, to connect. So I have uh, it interfaced on my yoke pieces and I marked, pre-marked, um, I marked this 5 8 The pattern is actually half an inch, but I did the other one 5 8 because I got confused. So, so I gotta match this up. So I'm just gonna lose, you know, a quarter inch, I guess, from the, the length of the skirt, which is not a problem. But so I'm gonna I mark this all, I mark the yoke first, and then I pinned it on and match up the center uh, backs. And I'm just gonna stitch this. Now, when you usually when you sew yoke pieces to skirt pieces, you sew the yoke first, then you sew the skirt on. I have it this way so that actually, and I'm gonna be sewing the side seams, which sometimes might make it a little clumpier on the side. Um, and then the whole facing goes over it, which, which I have just a thin lining. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do it and see how it um, fits. Sometimes it just doesn't fit as smooth on the sides, but I just want to test it. It's been a long time since I haven't done that, so <laughs> sometimes it um, works out anyway. I'm going to go stitch this, and then I can get on to sewing the side seams and trying it on. I'm very excited. All right, got the back yoke all stitched, pressed up, and now I have to sew my side seams. So I have them all pinned up, I'm going to match up the sides um, where the yokes come together. It's the most important. I also um, graded out the yoke part because I have this interface and it's corduroy, it's a little on the thick side, so I don't want it to be too thick. So I'm just going to sew up the side seams. Half an inch, that's the seam allowance. Try not to do the five eighths. <laughs> and um, then I'm able to try it on and uh, lay the pockets down and on the little marks and see if I'm in the right spot. I got my side seams done and my pockets pinned on. Yay! Looks so cute. Oh my gosh. I don't know where I'm gonna hem this either. I think I must have had a couple inch, couple inches planned. I have um, pockets all pinned on and this little flap. This flap, if I like it, I'm going to just try it. Um, this, what do you call that? Little, I don't know. There's a, it's like a double flap, but i got to put like a snap or something here. I'm not really sure how that's all going to work. But a uh, cell phone pocket might just be in the way. I don't know. <laughs> Can I test it? And um, if so, i got to kind of get in there and sew it in that little pocket part because I don't want to sew the pocket closed. And um, I'll just get in here and sew all that stuff. But try it on first. And I might need to move pockets around. But I believe when I did this muslin that everything was in the right spot. So first I also have to make sure the skirt fits. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna try this on. Wish me luck. Okay, this is what happened. <laughs> I tried it on. It fits. The waist fits, which is surprising. <laughs> um, usually have to let that out. But 
I have to nip it in a little bit like from here down um, I still want it to be an A line but it um, it just kind of I think the fabric's kind of thick so it just kind of went eh, like that um, so just like a half an inch on each side and I'm still gonna try and blend it into the A line then uh, this pocket turned out pretty good it was in a good spot um, I also figured out I need about I guess it's about two inch hem um, I had to pin up the hem because it threw off the pockets like that made the pockets not look in the right spot and then really the only thing is I wanted the cell phone pocket I'm not gonna do the tab I think it's a little busy um, I needed to shift it over more to the side seam it I had it set up um, I guess it's right here little like on the this little size well, this is a what size dress for my sister I guess it is it's a 16 <laughs> it I couldn't really tell on here but I think when I, I had the pocket on this one it looked a little too forward so when you I, and also when you have contrasting pockets such as these it was just making it asymmetrical and threw it off it was a little confusing so you want it more balanced so I just took this pocket and shifted it over a little bit and um, looks like so from here to here I shifted it it's about probably about three inches so that's a lot and I'm gonna keep it on the same plane level as this pocket that helped too because the contrast I think really just kind of threw it off um, other than that I think I'm just gonna mark it first I gotta take in the side seams a little bit repin the pockets and then I'm gonna fix the pattern um, to you know put the different circles and the markings on the pattern and then um, kind of I think I'll um, pin up the whole uh, hem before I try it on again and then try it on and uh, see how that goes so I'm gonna do that alteration then I'm gonna go home and try this on and I will see you tomorrow I'm back and this skirt fit perfectly I'm gonna love this skirt it took me so long to get this going um, just had to adjust the pockets I just repinned them in where they felt the most comfortable and I didn't even try my cell phone in there but I think it'll work because I designed it around my uh, note 10 I believe so <laughs> never know what phone I have um, a little lipstick pocket I hope my lipstick fits in there or chapstick or something and then my other little pocket which I'm gonna bring put all my credit cards in go shopping <laughs> no, I'm losing my mind anyway so this is um, all ready to go I just have to stitch the pockets down and I'm um, gonna be top stitching that with a, just a cream colored thread because I don't want it to show and uh, I have to do the facing right here so I've got my facing pinned up put it in the uh, always have to whenever I'm doing facings I always have to remember that especially if this is an asymmetrical because the right or is this the the right yoke is wide longer than the other you just have to make sure that the two wrong sides the seams go together so you have to kind of reverse it so I just pin it and test it make sure I'm on it because I've done that so many times where I have just sewn it and go this doesn't work and then I have to undo it so I always test it when it's pinned but um, I also have this scrap of fabric I had the rayon ambiance they don't make it anymore it's so soft and it feels good on so that's what I'm gonna line my yoke with so I'm just gonna line that stitch on the pockets and overlock my hem and get it ready to go I got this pleat all balanced out then this skirt is done right, so have my facing all pinned on have to sew it half an inch all the way around the waist then I'll be pressing uh, the seam up right here and then under stitching it so that it rolls inside really well so I'm gonna go and get that done all right got the facing all under stitched and rolled in and pressed and then I've got all the uh, it all pinned down right here to make sure I have it all fit right it has a little bit of uh, wobbliness but it's kind of to be expected and then I have to transfer all my pins to the 
front part here because I'm actually got to figure out which way to sew this. I guess I'll get it this way. Um, and then I'm going to be top stitching right on top of the yoke so that it anchors all this down. And then I got to take all these pins out here as I go. So I'll be getting all these pins here. Otherwise, I would run over all these pins. <laughs> so I'm going to go and top stitch that. And then my facing will be done. And yay! And I'm then I gotta sew on the pockets. I'm actually I'm gonna hem it first because then I gotta change my thread color to cream. And that'll be the last step. Alright, to finish the facing and the yoke. Alright, facing is all done, top stitched. Boy, that turned out really nice. This really kind of anchors all that seam in there down and then it, it's not floating around. So now I have to move on to the hem, and I gotta first hem this little pleat. So I turn it right sides together there, and I'll be rolling this inside here, finishing off my pleat, and then this right here, just top stitch it there. And then, I also had overlocked all these. I just did about an inch and a half up. That usually is a good amount. And then, I believe I'm going to be hand stitching the rest of all this just because I don't think I want the stitch to show on there. Yeah, I just want it to be flat right there. All right, I'm gonna go get to this and then I can move on to the pockets. All right, on to the pockets, stitching them on. I get to finally change the thread color on my machine. I'm gonna keep the black bobbin in and I uh, use the cream thread. So I've got my pins all set up, the direction I'm gonna sew. Um, so I don't have to futz with it at the machine and get my pockets off track. I'm going to pull them out the direction I'm going to be sewing. I hope I got that right. All right, take this to the machine, stitch these all down, and then test them out. Done with the pockets and done with the skirt. I actually have a couple little hand stitching things to do, but I'm done. <laughs> the uh, pockets turned out so cute. This is going to be really fun to wear. I actually want to make another one uh, with the uh, color swatches. I was going to do like a color blocking one. I think I want to make another one and maybe find it just a different fabric here. I don't know. I'll be shopping this weekend. Um, so I got my pockets done. I ended up adding this little flap because I found these sew-on magnets that I bought years ago. And I just loved them. I didn't know ever what know what to use, with them, use them for. And... Um, so this is, it goes like this and just snaps right here. I thought it would look cute right here because it kind of has that key feeling here. It doesn't quite go with the silver, but I don't know, like right under the little Eiffel Tower. So it goes there, puts this one here, and it clamps there. And if this is my cell phone pocket, um, the cell phone could slide out if I'm running from the cops or something. <laughs> oh, I'd run in and then the cell phone so it's secure. So um, I think I'm just gonna do that. Um, just got to hand stitch that down right there and then this skirt is done and I'm gonna wear it this weekend so if you have any creative ideas on a cargo skirt some creative pockets I'd love to hear about it also I have other skirt videos for you to watch I have a um, some spliced ones I call them the Chanel I have um, I don't know if I did a video on that one that was my tester um, I did a do a video, but it was pretty complicated. I don't know if I put it out there. Anyway, I have a lot of other skirt uh, designs that I've done because I'm Chanel, queen of skirts. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in some more videos.